For those who don't know, um, two days ago, once again, uh, the third African American in the last two weeks, Alfred Alongo, 30 year old black man, was killed here in San Diego. We already showed a video of how the community is feeling about these things so that we can get a better understanding out, so people can empathize and not judge. Well, once again now, I want to show what Alfred was like, the type of man that he was. He was full of compassion and, and joy. And one of the few family members that I was able to get in touch with shared a little bit about that. And it's important for you to know that before you judge the man, before you judge his family and the, the, the communities that he come from because of his color or your fear or your bias. Please try and understand from an empathetic view of who this man was. And again, what if this was your brother, your sister, your father, your mother? Put yourself in their shoes. I think they were just, uh, I think them, them two, uh, uh, I, was, I think them two, offic them two officers or whoever that shot them, they can't, uh, uh, they was bitter. They was bitter about something in their personal life and they feel like taking it out on somebody else. Mm. That's how I feel. I don't know for a fact. But that's just, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just how I that's feel. That's how you feel about it. That's just how I feel about it, you know what I mean? I don't know the exact, how, you know what I mean? Did I don't know what happened. I wasn't there, you know, but I was out here in El Cajon City yesterday. And like, it was me and my boy right here. Roy, you know what I mean? We, we was barbecuing, you know what I mean? Roy, hey, tell me what's out here barbecuing, man. Tell me what's out here eating, man. What was out here eating, man? You know what I mean? Like, and then I get back to the house. Oh, damn. Man, the police, the police. They killed him. Tell me what went through your mind the moment you found out. Like, what raw emotion? Like, did you believe it? What was going through your head? I mean, uh, I did, I did, I did not want to believe it. Mm. But, but at the same token, I was like, man, I was like, man, I was like, man, this, I, I was like, man, the government be handing these motherfuckers license to kill niggas, and not court. Government be handing them license to kill niggas on court. That's, that, that's my boy, you know what I mean? That's my big brother, that's the one who I look up like, that's my big brother, man. And if you don't believe me, you could look, look up his Facebook pictures, you're gonna see me there. I'm there, man, like, they just, man, they killed them, just like the same shit that's been going on around the United States, but now this shit, it touched home. It's, it's, I'm telling you, man, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot speak for anything, but this shit right here, like, they giving, they giving, people license to kill right. one thing one thing that i do want the world to know you know uh, uh he uh he was uh he uh he's always been an inspiration and he always cut me me and all my younger friends the same age as me stay away from wrong because he's because because you know what i mean he's an older head so he always told he always told us man hey man do this don't do this do that don't do this you know what i mean so so for the, you know what i mean for them to do that so you're telling me that Alfred was a mentor to you guys? Of course, man. He, of course he was a mentor. That's my big brother. That's my big brother, man. That's my big brother. I got his phone number right now, man. Like, I called him like three days ago, bro. Three days ago, I called him. Was Alfred well known in the community? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah, hell yeah he was well known. Excuse my language, but he was, he, he's well known. He's well known, you know, as a big, uh, uh, you know, as a big brother, role model, you know. He always had a soft heart for the youth, you know. You, you know, just the fact because you know uh, he got daughters and he got sons too, you know. So Alfred, and this is what I want you to know about Alfred, man. He's a good dude. He's my big brother. He's always okay. been he's, he's always been a role model. He, you know what I mean. And uh, and uh, it's so sad. It's so sad. The fact that. He had to pass away the way he did because, you know, because this the shit that he he will always preach to me and, and and my friends, like man, like man, obey obey the laws, obey the laws, and when and, and when you and when the authorities are talking to you, listen to them. So he would he would personally tell you this. Yes, yes, of course. I, I'm telling you this shit. I'm telling you this shit. That's the type of dude he was, man. That's the type of, you know what I mean? And I hate the fact that 
I'm saying that's the type of that's the type of dude he was. Cause now I'm speaking I'm speaking in past tense. You know what I mean? I'd rather speak to him in present tense. Right. You know what I mean? That shit it really do hurt my feelings. But you know what though? You know whatever uh uh whatever landmark he said he said down for me, I ain't gonna lose that. It's, it's, it, it's, it's all up here, big bro. I see uh, uh, I see you in heaven, man, when I get there. It sucks. This is like our norm. And murder is not supposed to be a norm for human beings at all. It doesn't make any kind of sense. I um, actually got a chance to meet him, and the first conversation we had was in, amongst having like a police event go on um, during a party where we were harassed and things like that. So to... How long ago was this? Man, this was... um. It was like a summer event for uh, the African community. They come out and do this event once a year. It's just a week-long activity of fun, but it was at Ski Beach mm -hmm. where the police came out. They heard a call, you know, a bunch of black people gathering, and uh, we're harassed. And you knew him personally then? For, for that, I met him once. I don't, I don't know him, know him, but we got a chance to connect just on that thing alone because I had to bring him away from police because he was so upset that this is like the norm for us in America. And he's not from here. Can you tell me, can you tell me how he was responding to police at that time when you knew him? At that time, um, somebody was regulating the situation, talking to police, being at the forefront. I was behind that person just to make sure. And he was on the side of me and he was upset. Like, why do they always got to do this to us? Mm. It's loud, but not, not offensive loud. Was he like, being in any way disrespectful toward police at that time? No, he wasn't cussing, wasn't screaming any obscenities. He was just like asking why, like why you got to do this? What, what, what were your feelings when you met him? Like, what did, what did you, what sense did you get from him? The other uh, part as, as far as the type of person that he was. I felt like he was very sweet because he's out here amongst all his people having a good time. It's just like, why do they have to do this to us? We don't understand. Like, why is this the norm here in America when I just left? war to come back to war here like he's just like sister i don't understand sister i don't understand so from what i what i get from that is is he's sweet and he wanted peace and he's mm -hmm. wanted to live just like mm -hmm. everybody else does mm -hmm. oh. do you think there's any possible reason why alfred would purposely do anything to disobey a police officer no way no 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 way no way no way no no way in hell no way in hell no way in hell they they just like I said, they feel comfortable just cause the government you know, give them license to kill, so they feel like they could just kill anybody. He did he did not act that the way. Yo give him yo give him that license. And you, guess what? And guess what? That's what they that's what they're doing. Do you believe that there was a better way to handle the situation that happened yesterday that yeah. wouldn't have resulted in Alfred's death? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it is, is conversation. You know what I mean? Conversation, conversation. Dialogue. Yeah, I mean, you know, the fact that one of the cops used a taser and one used a gun shows that one felt that de-escalation was appropriate and the situation could have been handled without killing and without violence. Same thing in Tulsa last week. One officer used a taser, one used a gun. Like there was no, no one, there was nothing to suggest that the officers were in life-threatening danger, and it comes down to the fact that our police receive almost no training. Other police in other places have gun de-escalation special units that receive training just in that department, and we're being undertrained. Police are being put out there scared and not knowing how to handle this kind of stuff, and they're handling it poorly and falling back on, uh, I think, subconscious racism. Alpha's cousin and the young uh, man Ben brought up a very important point, de-escalation. I'm a United States Marine. I proudly served this country for four years, from 2000 to 2004. I went through the Iraq War, and our rules of engagement are different than the rules of engagement that I see being practiced by police in the United States on a daily basis. Our main objective was to preserve life, even though they were our enemies. We didn't engage an enemy unless they engaged us. We protected ourselves, yes, but we didn't engage an enemy unless we were physically threatened. So how is it that the rules of engagement here in the United States, in our peaceful environments, in a non 
war environment are to shoot first and ask questions later and allow the system to get you off. I don't understand that. But from a position of empathy, can you see how the family, the community can be hurting when there could have been more done to preserve this young man's life? I hope that you'll watch part three of this because it, it, it all escalates and comes to this part, the protest, the riots. And I know there's a lot of misunderstanding of why we need to do this, but hopefully part three can give you a different perspective.